day number four here in Iceland. We're back at Gordafoss and I hope you enjoyed that little montage because that was the best light I've ever seen. I thought yesterday was good. I've ever seen here. I thought yesterday was good but today was just that much better. Super windy again seems to be a bit of a theme uh, since we've arrived. Yesterday was a reprieve but today is just full-on super windy and the weather around the island is apparently really bad so uh, if you can see those clouds behind me, the autofocus is so good here that it's going to be hard to focus on them. But we've got some incredible lenticular clouds off in the distance, uh, very much like Patagonia. So the wind is just swirling and howling all over the island. Hopefully it doesn't affect us too much. And uh, we're heading to Mivatn, which is a beautiful part of the uh, north of Iceland. This video starts right now. Let's go! There's some great uh, hot springs here too, which I visited the first time in 2010, way back on my first trip to Iceland. I came here for music actually back then, not for photography. I had a little point and shoot power shot, which uh, was very handy, but I was here for the uh, the music and the Iceland airwaves, which is a great festival. And uh, yeah, here we are 12 years later, <laughs> 2022, and exploring me and looking for a photograph. And with light like this, you would hope that there, uh, there should be a good one, but it's surprisingly hard to, uh, to find a good composition in this area, at least for me. I thought I saw one, but uh, yeah, anyway, let's see what we can find. At the top of a hill uh, we got some really really nice light in the end and I kind of failed at the vlog updates but uh, I think that I got some nice footage and uh, and photos you know a lot of the footage that I'm using during this trip will be part of Brendan's vlog so if you don't already know that one of the main reasons that I'm here is to help co-lead this adventure photography workshop and at the same time film a lot of b-roll that Brendan ends up putting into his uh, YouTube channel vlogs sort of documenting the trip so it's kind of a, a dual role of videographer as well as uh, co-leader as an adventure tour leader which was one of the first jobs that I had at a university uh, this is where I feel most comfortable for sure and it feels so good to be back on the road and tour leading again we've got a great group there's 13 of us in total and uh, 
and it's just been fantastic so far and we're not even halfway through so even though the weather's been hectic if you haven't seen the first couple of videos check those out it's just mind-blowing crazy but that's Iceland for you in the winter and we are in the north and Mimatten didn't disappoint we got some nice shots in the end so I'm happy with that and I hope you like them too and uh, yeah stick with us because we still got a lot of Iceland to see and you're coming with Bye -bye.